What you must know about taking your kids on holidays during a divorce. Welcome back to my channel and if this is your first time, I'm Lisa Dixon and I'm your divorce expert. Don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell button so you get free divorce expert advice like child custody, child alimony and financial settlements. Now let's get straight into it. Now I took my kids to Disneyland and I took them to the Gold Coast as well but it's really really important that you get a grip of what you can do and that you can do a lot of things and you can take them on holidays. So let's get right into it. Number one, number one local travel is much better. Now it's much better in terms of being able to get approval, it's much better in terms of not having to go through so much rigmarole to get it through. Number two is overseas travel. Now this is where it gets tricky. Number two, you can of course still take your kids overseas as long as there's no flight risk. Now here's my three step plan for you. Number one, you do an email to your ex. You give them seven days. Number two, if there's no reply, you do a solicitor's letter to your ex and you ask again for approval, 14 days. Number three, you lodge it with your local court. Now, always there is a predominant precedent that the judges will allow you to take the kids overseas. They will. If you're not a flight risk, which 99.9% .9 of cases are not, you can take them overseas. And it's really easy to lodge it yourself. You don't need to spend a lot of money to go to court and put in an application to take your kids overseas. So, th so those are the three simple steps that I'm advising you on how you can get your ex's approval for overseas travel and you can do it. It's always, always good to offer makeup time in writing. Now, if you've watched any of my other podcasts, you know that I'm big on this. I'm big on evidence. I'm big on you putting it in writing. Journal it. Put it in an email. Put it in a text message. All of those things. Put it in a lawyer's letter. These are all evidence. Evidence in terms of the fact that you've followed the procedures and you've asked for permission. And it's really, really important because you're not going to get turned down. The number of cases that actually get turned down for travel are very, very small. Now, another point about passports. Passports, I like to keep my kids' passports. There's also something you need to be aware of, and this is in any of the countries, wherever you're listening from, whether you're listening from the UK, Australia, New Zealand, the US, Canada, wherever you're listening from today, there are a lot of government restrictions around passport applications. So be really, really careful around that. Don't forge anything, don't make anything up. Follow my three-step plan in terms of getting a approval for your travel, especially if it's overseas travel. And don't forget, always, always offer makeup time. That's how you get around it. That's one of the tricks, offer makeup time. We went to Disneyland, we had a great time. <laughs> <laughs> spent far too much money, ate far too much of course, it was all on the credit card that we had to pay off, oh my gosh, but we had a great time and it was one of the memories that you just cannot replace. So it's really, really important that you do make sure that you try and incorporate some of the holidays into the divorce because you don't know how long you could be going for, could be going for years. Now make sure you hit subscribe, there's a couple of other videos coming up I'd like to see you in and I'd like to see you on Insta, so come and join me on Insta. Divorce TV and we'll see you soon. Bye.